Hi, and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. Today I'm making baba ganoush. Is there anything that says Halloween more than baba ganoush? <laughs> anyway, actually I'm making it because my daughter gave me these two eggplants and uh, I couldn't think of anything else to make with it. So I am making baba ganoush. If you don't know what baba ganoush is, it's an eggplant dip uh, and it has uh, some spices and stuff in it. It's similar to hummus in that it has um, the same other ingredients, but instead of chickpeas, we're using um, eggplant. Now, I roasted this eggplant. There's two medium eggplants. I roasted them uh, in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes at 450 degrees, and that's just to get them nice and toasted. It brings out their flavor. It gets rid of some of their moisture, um, and you want to use medium-sized eggplants for this. The... Um, Larger ones tend to be like a little bit more bitter, so um, you want to avoid that if you can. These were two medium sized. Now I am going, and this is so simple and, and quick, okay? I am adding a oh, quarter of a cup of tahini. That's uh, the sesame paste. It's, it's like um, peanut butter, but instead of making with peanut butter, you make it with sesame seeds. Okay, this is about a quarter of a regular sized onion, diced really finely, a tablespoon of parsley, dried parsley, one uh, serrano chili pepper, finely diced, and two garlic cloves. So now we're gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, one third of a cup of olive oil. quarter of a teaspoon of each of these. It's celery salt, cumin, smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. Uh, and all of those variations, you can use whatever you want. If you wanna uh, leave some, some of that out, if you wanna add more to that, then uh, feel free to do that. And now you just stir it up. This is great served with um, like tortilla chips or pita chips, something like that, but also really good with um, Crudite. So if you chopped up some veggies, cucumbers, some uh, bell peppers, some carrots. Okay, let's give this a try and then see if it needs anything. Well, that is really amazing. I mean, such a few amount of ingredients, right? You do have to roast that eggplant. You can't put it in there uncooked. Um, I roasted in the oven. You could also grill it, but um, you definitely need to cook it. And that's really the only cooking. Everything else is just chopped up or just dumped in there. So, but it's, it's amazing. Wow, you guys, that is really good. Um, you should try this. I don't want to act like I'm the boss of you or anything. But uh, this is really good, and you should try it. It's really, really good. Um, again, it'd be good with just about anything. Some chips, pita chips, potato chips, and then also with some carrot sticks or some celery sticks, some cucumber slices. I would pour just a tiny bit of olive oil. And then you have baba ganoush, just like that. Five minutes, you have a dip. Take this to your party tonight if you're having a party, a Halloween party. It's really, really good. I think it would be good with some crusty bread as well. If you had some um, crostini, some some uh, toasted little bat, you know, little baguettes, crackers. Oh my gosh, this would be so good on crackers. Um, try it. Let me know how you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any comments, I would love to see them below. You take care now and happy Halloween.